Good morning, Raya. Good morning. Daddy in the kitchen. Boy, here now toasted some bread. Okay, so this is what we're doing in the kitchen this morning. The scrambled egg. Okay, so this is the pancake, the eggs. Ah. Say morning, Jenny. No. Say morning. No. Say morning, Rishuli. Because the boy have a little surprise for Olya. Olya, I am going to get my hand on something nice to demo. So I will be bringing some new content to y'all already. That's already in my in my my universe as I like to tell Olya, right? Last time I did a video with Quasi, now I'm doing a video with Chris Andy, Chris Andy from Solar Grey. Chris, tell them why you come and check me today now. I came and check you today because you are well known across, not just Trinidad, but across the Caribbean. And even people in the US reaching out to me and telling me about you. So I said, mm. you know what? Let me check Jacob and see what is really going on. Let me come out to him. Mm. Let me talk to him. Let me meet his family. I'm going to see the house, I'm going to see the place, I'm going to see the kind of setup he has. And I basically got a tour of everything. And I'm really impressed with the fact that you're living the life, you're out here, you're off grid, you're doing something that most people just don't have the courage to do, especially in the time in which we live. And you're doing it, and you're doing it in a very, very, very admirable way. So big ups to you, and big ups to your family as well. Thank you, my brother. Earlier, Chris surprised me today and he brought a system for me to demo for me to test out for a week for all year. and I am going to be dropping some amazing content all year. and he tell me test it he tell me do spare it so and all you know the content I I make all year. and let me make this disclaimer and gain everything I do on YouTube y'all I do it on my own not to this day, nobody can say that they have ever paid me to do something Correct. to create any content. So this is not a paid ad. For those who come over from TikTok, because they know people will see the TikTok and come over to the YouTube. So I'm clarifying my 10 years of content creation on YouTube and all platforms. I have never done a paid or a sponsored video. Right? So all you know, the findings, all you get here. It's real. It's real thing, right? That's right. The pass-through is determined by your load. Yeah. So if the load, uh, the appliance load is, let's say, a thousand, the, 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 um, either the grid input or the solar input is going to match it and be a little bit above. Yeah. So that the batteries well, will not never deeply. ever be depleted or even drop. So it's always determined by the amount of load and the battery will always be slightly above. Yep. So, so you all see that we, we, we did the test live, we did the test together, right? So it's not me playing around, I asked the professionals because you, you want to know you can do pass-through, right? So while we have it charging, because with the generator, and this is not the ideal way to charge it as well, eh? It's from these 30 amps, but we decided to charge it regular because the generator has the 30 amps because you could connect your generator with the RV plugs to your home or to the backup system over here right so we we just test the pass-through system those who think you can't do pass-through system that is a lie that is false information we just tested it here and you also it for yourself whether you're using something that pushing 20 watts and it's saying 32 watts is because it will always be a little more because remember with systems like these you cannot overcharge the batteries and it will not allow it for the battery to drop below right 
So yes. that is the BMS with the grid system. With the solar now, you know it will fluctuate bit the shade and the sun, those type of things. So all yeah? We inside. We inside? This is information you ain't gonna get from nobody else. You ain't gonna see this from nobody else, Oli. But I, I love it, Oli. I love it. The ideal thing we're discussing here is the people who using this in civilization, I like to call it, because you know, on grid, right? They don't have nothing to ever worry about because the solar panel on their roof will charge their system in about two to three hours. Four to five at most it will take to charge their, their, their system from whatever percent to full. And with this pass through, it, it means that during the day, they should not be decreasing. They will be increasing because they have the solar input. And they are also tying into the grid. So you all see in that, right? When I choose to iron my clothes using 1200 watts, it is using the pass through current and keeping it at 12 something on top so 12 10 12 whatever so the system is that there is an advanced an advanced battery management system bms right bms that is completely computerized so it keeps the batteries healthy and you it also keeps the customer happy because mm -hmm. you know that you would never drop at mm -hmm. any significant level you would always stay where mm -hmm. you are currently in terms of your charging mm -hmm. you would never drop lower than whatever that threshold is yep. so it's a good thing mm -hmm. different cables and ports over here so these are the adapters for these solar panels as you all can see over here because they're doing dc input as well right so these are special cables that were designed for it this is m m4 connectors mm -hmm. over here as well so this is where you could connect your solar panels to come in and chris something that i thought about right mm -hmm. watch out this we, we were talking, let me let me move this fan away. We were talking a little earlier, right? And this down here is a 3.5 kilowatt system, right? 3.5 kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour, right? In terms of the, that refers to the battery storage, mm -hmm. 3.5 kilowatt hour. And 3 kilowatts is what we will get out of it, right? Right, so 3 kilowatts is basically the size of the inverter. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on top here, we have our expansion pack. How is this e expansion pack designed to work? Well, the expansion pack is designed, if you come over here, you will mm. see that it's attached to the main system here. It's attached from here straight up to the battery pack. So what this does, it actually doubles the capacity of the system. So you go from 3.5 kilowatt hour to 3.5 times 2, which is 7 kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And with 7 kilowatt hour, of course, like we said, it doubles your capacity, which you can do so much more with. Mm -hmm. and this here is the satellite battery the expansion pack right because the inverter everything is built into this part so this have less components on top and i thought about something beautiful you know as much as this is port of portable you could pull the handle you could carry it anyway i could still carry this out and have a good time you know because sure. most people don't know but these small ones right they have input where you could connect to the battery or cigarette lighter and this here have the port for the cigarette lighter so once you plan on keeping your load small you're not using nothing over 10 amps as required you could do like me connect your inverter and once you're using under 100 watts under 150 watts you should be able to use this perfectly fine so our fan and gain you know so chris do the honors. You're plugging it in at the side here. Mm -hmm. yep. yep, and we're checking it right here. No, right here. Remember that will have nothing in it. Yeah, yeah. So this yeah. is the expansion pack here. So yeah, watch out that and boom shot we charging. Mm -hmm. You know what? We we want to plug in this power brick now. This power brick here to charge my po my power station does sold about 60, 60 watts does power straight, right? So let me let me send them in the boom shot. Look at that. Light and green. So the expansion pack is also portable. You could do fast charging with a hundred watts here. You have things to to understand the percentage of the battery here. Because remember you really reading it down here too, eh? But this is the expansion pack. So we could use the expansion pack by itself. Limited. Correct. But 
fully over here because they will double whatever backup. If your house says it will run for 12 hours when you add this expansion pack, you're looking at 24 hours plus. So that is the beauty. And all you see in this, the fan charging, the fan using, and we just join from here. So the expansion pack can be can work independent of the main what we call main system which we call the mango e right so it's, it can be used together or in accordance with or in tandem or separate no, sorry yeah so separate so it's um it's something that is really geared towards not just people who are off grid mm -hmm. people are on grid people who are campers people who are djs if you have a food truck you know there are a myriad of reasons why you would you can use both mm -hmm. and they can be used separately as we just and you, you you know why i really like this chris i'm gonna flip the camera i'm gonna flip the camera as everybody know i've spent the last year on youtube trying to teach people about solar and everybody know i use the old school solar with panels charge controllers inverters all of these things right and literally i am seeing that this is the way forward reason being as well all could be incorporated with new and what i'm seeing with the system is as you can see i can still use my old inverter on the system right yes. i don't have to get rid of it yes. my panels that i have on the roof i can actually connect those panels to the system to charge it as well so it's not to say remember people of trinidad and tobago when you do your research on solar they tell you the best batteries to use solar with is what lithium ion and this here is lithium ion Phosphate. this is the one that they put in bmw tesla or all, all these things so you're going to get more than 10 years life because my batteries that i have on the table day remember people who contact me i always tell you do not use these batteries i always tell you i'll try to get bigger batteries because these are temporary these batteries will last you a year to two years and then every year you have to be buying new batteries but if you invest in lithium iron and not only that people don't notice it eh? the government put things in place so lithium iron is actually cheaper and easier to ship into the country but nobody bringing it in i'm real sorry to say but nobody bringing it in solar gray does solar gray does and i'm happy to say it. this is the way to go no more old school solar and even if you like me and you start somewhere this is where you want to know the same charge control i have the same inverter i have the same panels i have if you get lithium iron you can connect your panels to your charge controller wire to charge the same system as well and the mango e system the prices start at Twenty-five thousand. Correct. Chris, I work in for small money, right? right? How could I afford this that costs twenty-five thousand? Okay, so it's important to note that we have financing. Mm -hmm. Right, the financing that we have, we have credit unions on board, we have banks on board, we even have courts mm -hmm. on board. So really, we have no excuses. We even have in-house financing, but that is a little bit that process is a little bit more rigorous mm -hmm. and because we are not a finance company. So okay, it's more, okay geared towards um, helping out specific persons. However, mm -hmm. you have free reign to get financing and the payback time is relatively short. Okay, a year to two years time. Some, it could be depending on your payments. It could okay. be as long as four years. As okay, so you have options as well? Absolutely. Wow, so so all, all you hear that, right? Yes. That That is some beautiful news. So somebody could even start with 50% down Correct. Or even something smaller if you're going through the credit union and you're Correct. using your shares and those type of things. So we're very flexible. Okay, so we're very flexible. The point is we're trying to have solar adoption be situated for everyone. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's not just for people who could quote unquote probably afford it. Mm -hmm. It's for everyone who has the need for mm -hmm. it. Okay, okay. So here we have the option of also doing portable panels. Mm -hmm. We have some on the outside of this, of this building. And you can connect panels. Uh, we have 200 watt panels. We also have 400 watt panels. Right? You can connect them. Say, for instance, you're going out to your homestead for the weekend or for the day. Or in some instances, like let's say people who are farmers 
and they want to go out there for the weekend as the case might be you can connect portable panels the system is also fully portable as you as you would have known and you're able to now go out put everything in the, in the trunk offload unload and then you go about your business and this same system can be hooked up to your regular home or to your regular place of business so you can use it in two well, dual purposes not just mm -hmm. for the home alone or not just for the business or not just for outdoors mm -hmm. it's for all of the above so your investment you can maximize on your investment in mm -hmm. terms of being able to use it in a multifaceted way as opposed to just one, one way. way nice nice this here is the portable panels on them 200 watts and over here in the box is the bigger one the 400 watts panels with guys mango power e-test right now i have my wife in the deep freeze 32 inch television solar power fan 50 inch second solar powered fan and five energy efficient light bulbs kitchen bathroom outside light gallery light living room light